Sylvester Stallone Marriages and Children Sylvester Gardenzio Stallone, born July 6, 1946, is an American actor and filmmaker. Stallone has been married three times. He has two sons from his first marriage and three daughters from his third marriage. At age 28, on December 28, 1974, he married Sasha Zak. They had two sons, Sage Moonblood Stallone, 1976-2012, who died of heart disease at age 36, and Sergio, born 1979, who was diagnosed with autism at an early age. The couple divorced on February 14, 1985. Stallone married model and actress Bridget Nielsen on December 15, 1985, in Beverly Hills, California. Their marriage, which lasted two years, and their subsequent divorce were highly publicized by the tabloid press. In 1988 Stallone met model Jennifer Flavin and they were in a relationship until 1994, when Stallone told her he was having a child with model Janice Dickinson. After the February 1994 birth, DNA tests confirmed he was not the father and Stallone ended his engagement to Dickinson. After a brief 1995 engagement with model Angie Everhart, he and Flavin rekindled their relationship. In May 1997, Stallone and Jennifer Flavin married. The couple has three daughters, Sophia, Sistine, and Scarlett. His daughters were chosen to share the role of Golden Globe Ambassador at the 74th Golden Globe Awards. On August 19, 2022, Palm Beach County records showed that after 25 years of marriage, Jennifer Flavin had filed for dissolution of marriage and other relief. On September 23, 2022, the couple reconciled. Sylvester Stallone, Lifestyle and Net Worth Sylvester Stallone has a net worth of approximately $400 million. Sylvester Stallone, who's had a decades-long career in Hollywood, owns an impressive collection of supercars, including a pristine black-on-black -black Bugatti Veyron. He is 5 feet 10 inches tall, which is equivalent to 1.77 meters tall. That being said, let's roll. Sylvester Gardenzio Stallone has received numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award and a Critics' Choice Award, as well as nominations for three Academy Awards and two BAFTA Awards. Stallone is one of only two actors in history, alongside Harrison Ford, to have starred in a box office no. One film across six consecutive decades, struggling as an actor for a number of years upon moving to New York City in 1969. Stallone found gradual work in films such as The Lords of Flatbush, 1974. He achieved his greatest critical and commercial success starting in 1976 with his iconic role as boxer Rocky Balboa in the first film of the successful Rocky franchise, which he also wrote. In 1977, he became the third actor in history to be nominated for two Academy Awards for Best Original Screenplay and Best Actor. Stallone continued his established roles in Rocky Balboa, 2006, and Rambo, 2008, before launching the Expendables film franchise, 2010 present, in which he starred as the mercenary Barney Ross. In 2013, he starred in the successful film Escape Plan and appeared in its sequels. In 2015, he returned to Rocky again with Creed in which a retired Rocky mentor's former rival Apollo Creed's son Donnie Creed. The film brought Stallone widespread praise and his first Golden Globe Award, as well as a third Academy Award nomination, having been first nominated for the same role 40 years prior. Since 2022, he has starred in the Paramount Plus crime series Tulsa King. Sylvester Stallone Early Life and Education Sylvester Gardenzio Stallone was born in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of New York City's Manhattan Borough on July 6, 1946, the elder son of women's professional wrestling promoter Jacqueline Jackie Stallone (1921–2020) and hairdresser Francesco Frank Stallone Sr. (1919–2011). His mother was an American from Washington D.C. with Breton French and Ukrainian Jewish ancestry while his father was an Italian immigrant from Gioia del Col who moved to the U.S. in the 1930s. His younger brother is actor and musician Frank Stallone. 
Many biographies of Stallone indicate that his birth name is Michael Sylvester Gardenzio Stallone, and his mother explained in an interview that she originally named him Tyrone because she admired the actor Tyrone Power, but Stallone's father changed it to Sylvester. His nickname as a child was Binky, but he chose to go by the nickname of Mike or Michael after schoolmates began calling him Stinky. His middle name, Gardenzio, is an alteration of the Italian given name, Gardenzio, and he usually shortened it to Enzio. Sylvester Stallone Views and Beliefs Stallone was baptized and raised a devout Catholic, but stopped going to church as his acting career progressed. He rediscovered his childhood faith when his daughter was born ill in 1996, and he again became a strict Catholic by late 2006. The same year, he was interviewed by Pat Robertson from the Christian Broadcasting Network's 700 Club. He stated that he spent much of his previous time in Hollywood losing his way because temptation abounded, but later put things in God's hands. However, he told GQ magazine in 2010, I'm pretty spiritual. I believe a lot in the spirit of man. I'm certainly not an atheist. I was baptized Catholic, but I don't belong to a structured church. I have no opposition to it. I think there's great nuggets of knowledge in there, some wonderful rules to live by. Then the flip side is the amount of agony that's caused. Stallone has supported several Republican politicians, but does not identify as a member of the Republican Party. He has also donated to the Democratic National Committee and to Democrats such as Joe Biden and Chris Dodd. He is a staunch advocate of gun control despite his otherwise conservative views, and has been described as the most anti-gun celebrity in Hollywood. In 1994, Stallone contributed $1,000 to the campaign of then-Congressman Rick Santorum, who was then running for the Senate in Pennsylvania. In 2008, Stallone endorsed John McCain for that year's presidential election. In 2015, upon the advice of a Vedic scholar, Stallone performed a Hindu Taithi Shrad ritual, done for those who died by accident or murder, at Haridwar for his son Sage. In the run-up to the 2016 presidential election, Stallone described Donald Trump as a Dickensian character and larger than life, but did not endorse Trump or anyone else in the Republican primaries. That same year, he declined an offer to become chair of the National Endowment for the Arts, citing a desire to work on issues related to veterans. In 2023, Stallone donated $11,600 to independent Senator Kirsten Sinema's re-election campaign in Arizona. Later that year, he and his family spent time with Pope Francis in a private meeting at the Vatican. Sylvester Stallone Legal Issues In February 2001, an exotic dancer named Margie Carr filed a lawsuit against Stallone, accusing him of rape while at a Santa Monica fitness center where they both worked out on February 26, 2000. A lawyer for Stallone denied the claim, saying she sold the story to Globe the month before the lawsuit. In 2007, customs officials in Australia discovered 48 vials of the synthetic human growth hormone gintropin in Stallone's luggage. In a court hearing on May 15, he pleaded guilty to two charges of possessing a controlled substance. In 2013, it was reported that Stallone paid a $2 million lump sum settlement alongside a monthly amount and a trust for psychiatric and medical expenses to his half-sister Tony Ann Felitti in 1987. Felitti threatened to file a lawsuit accusing him of abuse. Representatives for Stallone and Felitti's mother Jacqueline Stallone denied the allegations, accusing Felitti of blackmailing him and being a drug addict. However, Felitti's son, Ed Felitti, supported the claims, saying his mother screamed about abuse at the hands of her half-brother over and over before her death in 2012. Sylvester Stallone Family and Friends Stallone maintains a relationship with his brother Frank who contributed the theme songs to Rambo, First Blood Part II, and Staying Alive. In 1983, Frank's song, Far From Over, for Staying Alive, reached the number 10 U.S. hit. Frank appears in minor roles, bit parts, and provides music in many films starring Sylvester, most notably in the Rocky films, where Frank played a street corner singer and contributed songs. Stallone's 48-year-old half-sister, Tony and Felitti, 
died of lung cancer on August 26, 2012. Stallone was a close friend of Joe Spinell, but they had a falling out during the shooting of their final collaboration Nighthawks in 1981, and Spinell died in 1989. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing contents. Oh,